<laughs> All right. I want to be able to go through the visitor portal in a way that you can help your chapters because I would love for your chapter members to make more money. I would also like your chapters to grow so you can make more money. And so to that end, I want to show you how to navigate the visitor portal that's kind of new. Um, it, since J July, the end of July, we've done a whole bunch of new stuff with it. You've probably played around a little bit, but I would really encourage you as we're talking, if you can have a different window open so you can look at your own chapters and work with your own visitor portal, you'll be able to have hands-on clicking yourself and you'll be able to see your chapters and the visitors they have so that you can navigate this as, um, as well as possible. Um, it says, I cannot start screen share while the other person oh. is sharing. Can you? There we there go. You go. As generous as you are, I'm going to ask you to stop sharing. <laughs> All right. Perfect. So um, my, you will notice mine has Alfred E. Newman as the uh, as the, the person who's on here because this is a fake chapter in Antarctica. Antarctica is the only continent in the world where BNI does not have chapters, so this won't mess up any statistics. We tried doing some of these activities with real chapters, just so you could see what happens like when you mark attendance. But if I mark attendance, then that visitor is actually marked and we can't go back and it will change everything. So this is a fake chapter, but I want you to look at real chapters. So you've probably already realized that you want to get to the visitor portal, you want to go to operations and chapter. And for those of you who have multiple chapters in your basket, you will want to be sure that you choose the chapter that you want to look at. So here's your region, whatever the region is, this is the Sherpa region, and then whichever the chapter is. Here we can only choose one, and all of your visitor hosts will only be able to choose one because they only have access to their own chapter. So this is only going to be for visitor information. Your VPs in all of your chapters are still going to do what they do for the Palms Report, but your visitor hosts and your VPs will want to talk to each other, especially if you realize three or four days after a meeting, oh, so-and-so never got registered as a visitor, then your visitor host will want to go back in and change that and say to the vice president, please go back and open up the Palms change it and resubmit it again so everything is accurate. And the reason we want it accurate is because BNI Connect has a really great automated system of sending emails to the visitors, but it's triggered by the attendance. So within 24 to 48 hours, if the visitors are not marked as having attended, they will automatically get a, sorry, we missed you email. And that doesn't make everybody look great because the visitor will write back to Nellie and say, I was there because the email looks like it came from her. So let's all take care of Nellie and make sure that we're teaching the visitor host how to mark the attendance. So you'll go into the chapter operations and you'll go to the visitor portal. And here you'll have several different options to either add a visitor registration, look at the visitor registrations, or mark the attendance after the meeting. And <clears throat> your visitor hosts have been trained on this, um, but we also know that once we tell somebody something, it doesn't mean they remember it forever. So the more useful you can be as a chapter success coach, the more value you bring to the chapter, and you'll be able to remind them and answer their questions. So if you've determined that someone is coming to the meeting and your visitor hosts don't know how to register them or you just want to help them out, you'll go to the add registration. All of this is pretty intuitive, actually. So then you just fill out the information for everything that you need to know for these people. What date are they visiting? Um, and we could even, I could register myself, but I'm already registered for this one. So you can do this for your chapter. I mean, be add yourself as a visitor. You can go through this part and nothing will happen to your chapter until you submit and save it. You can also go through the whole process and just let the chapter know I'm not really coming. Uh, and then because I've done that a couple of times with chapters, but I get the emails and it's not a bad thing for you to see the emails that the visitors get. So it's probably not a bad idea. Maybe just even register to visit your own chapter. Uh, and then you fill out all of the information for them. And the important part for us to be looking at is over here on the right, when we're registering visitors. We want to choose the categories, and, and they've made it a little bit easier because we have to choose from a category that already exists rather than just making something up. That was streamlined a couple of years ago, and it seems to be helping a little bit. <clears throat> then we want to be sure that we're only marking 
qualified visitors as a visitor because it's only the visitors that will go through on the palms report and affect the conversion rate of your chapters. So if any of your chapters are having growth events and they want to see if they're getting better at converting visitors into new members, this is what will be key in making sure that you have clean data and it doesn't get messed up there. If it's a member from another chapter or somebody's brother who comes to hear their presentation, then that's a guest or a member. And if somebody is subbing, obviously you will mark sub and it won't matter. And when we'd mark the attendance, you'll see you have some more choices for that. But that's how you add a registration. And then once you've put in all the information, you go to this red button in the upper right and you say, save registration. And that's how you will register a visitor. Mm -hmm. That being said, if you wanna see who is coming to a chapter, just so you can know, maybe before your chapter visit, you'll want to look here at view registrations and you'll see for this chapter, they have one visitor coming this Wednesday. Her name is Jenny Butts. And <clears throat> if you want to look at information, if this weren't here, or if you wanted to get an email, et cetera, all you have to do is click on this icon and it will show you the actual registration that someone used before. And again, if your people have visitors coming, we really want to encourage them to register them in BNI Connect because then they get all of the follow-up information. If they're online, they'll get the Zoom link. If they're in person, they'll get the physical address and you'll have all the contact information. And it's really good for us later because then if we want to send email campaigns to visitors who came but didn't join a chapter, we can gather up all that information because it's been entered into BNI Connect. So this is how you can see more of the information. Everything's fine. Again, save the registration. After the meeting, you will want to do mark attendance. And the sooner your visitor hosts can mark the attendance of the visitors, the better. Because again, you've got that um, automated email happening. So this one, here's me. And I want to mark attendance. So I'm going to go into, I'm going to click on myself here. If you had three or four visitors, if all of them came, you just click that upper left-hand box, visitor registrant, and that will select all of them. However, we know not everybody comes every time. So if you want to have just two or three of the five or just one came and two didn't, whatever, you can click it next to their individual names. Then you're going to mark attendance down here at the bottom. Now I'm going to have to change, I have some limitations. I'll have to change and pretend that this was last week. I don't know how well this will work. Uh, sometimes it doesn't, there we go. Let's say, uh, let's say I was there on the 10th and I'm gonna look through to see, here's my category. Uh, we've got some optional things if I'm just a web a website copywriter or just a whatever, whatever the different thing would be. All my information is in here. This is where we want to be sure we're triggering the right emails. If this is a first time visit for this person, that will show up on the Palms report and that will affect the conversion rate. If this person has visited two or more times, then you'll mark them as a repeat visitor. This is all just to keep the data clean when your chapters want to look at their statistics. This is someone and this is someone who is not eligible to be a member. Not, they're not going to fill out an application. And a substitute is exactly what it sounds like. So if you have someone who is a first time visitor and they're subbing for someone, you will want to mark the most valuable thing, which is a first time visitor, because that person could join your chapter. And that's lovely. They were also serving as a substitute, but it's more valuable to your chapter that they came for the first time as a visitor and might apply to join your chapter. That is not the case with Jenny Butts copywriter. She has been to this chapter many, many times. So we'll mark her as a repeat visitor. Make sure there's no other information here. Follow-up email, yes, because uh, we want to, her to see everything. But if it's somebody who comes periodically, like as an employer, um, an employee of somebody, you might want to mark no, that that person doesn't need a follow-up email because their boss is the member and they're probably tired of getting the emails. So we want to do all of this. We have marked all the information we need. And so then we will review attendance. There it shows up, green, attended, get the follow-up email, everything is good. And within moments, it will take us back to our original list of visitors. Oh, finish marking attendance, have to do that first. 
then it will take us back to our original list and we'll see we have no more visitors for that day. It will also show if we look back here, Jenny Butts has visited this chapter like five times that one day. That's crazy. But that is how you mark attendance at a registration as well as just see who is coming to any chapter. Any questions about that? I have a quick uh, comment or question, Jenny. Um, what I've noticed is I, I have lots of, of presidents or vice presidents that are saying, these people are not showing up in the POMS report. And when I go in and look at visitor uh, marking attendance, I see five or six people that were there in October and early November. It's like they have not been marked. Am I correct in that? Yes. And I just found out on Friday that if the visitors are not marked as present by 48 hours after the meeting, they will automatically get the email. So the default is to get them the email that says they weren't there. So it's really important that our visitor hosts are marking attendance for the visitors as quickly as possible. That's also going to affect the VP submitting the Palms report, making sure that everything is accurate, members and visitors and everything together. And is the visitor host the only one that has access to this or could, in theory, the VP also do this? Yes, the VP could also do all of this. Yes, which is why I think it's so important that everybody is talking to one another. Okay. And I think Brian had raised his hand. Did your question get answered, Brian? No, not yet. Okay. Um, my question is, how is the visitor portal separate than some of the other uh, links that are under operations chapter and then manage visitors after a meeting and record a visitor post-meeting or not pre-registered? That's an excellent question, Brian. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, <clears throat> If a visitor comes to or comes to a meeting, but nobody registered them and attendance was already put in there and everything, you can't do that in the visitor portal. Eventually, I think Jeremy Walsh is saying everything will be in the visitor portal, but for right now, you'll need record a visitor post meeting and manage visitors after attending a meeting if the person wasn't registered by the time of the meeting. If you're going back after the fact to add a visitor, you'll need to use those two parts of BNI Connect. Great information. I had that same problem earlier. Yeah. yeah. And so if you, if you are going through this and a visitor host has a question and they know they did everything right and something is still glitchy, then that might be a BNI Connect issue and you can send an email to support at bniconnect.com. Uh, if it's, but if you're not sure everything has been entered correctly, I would run through that first with your visitor hosts and your VPs because sometimes it's operator error. Sometimes there are glitches, but more often we are the glitches. <laughs> okay, it looks like Jessica raised her hand. <clears throat> I more just wanted to point out, because um, I've had this with a couple of my chapters, the only visitors that then transfer, or the only people that then transfer to the Palms Report are the first time visitors. Right second time or guests or anything. I just had a couple of VPs that have been like, that have been doing it, that have then said, well, they're not showing up on my palms report. And so then I have to clarify with them that, um, oh, sorry, I'm not on video. Nelly, am I in trouble? No, attention <laughs> for me. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so then I have to just point out that the only ones that show up on the palms report are the first time visitors. Right, because we're measuring for growth. And we know the most potential is when you introduce new people to your network in a BNI chapter. So we want you to keep bringing new people. That's the that's the gold. Okay, Brian, do you still have a question or another question? Yeah, super quick. So when we register a visitor through the BNI app, that is registering them through the visitor portal. Is that correct? Yes, you can register them on the app. And so your members can can register their own visitors. The visitor hosts can't mark attendance on the app. They have to be on a computer to mark attendance. Great information. Okay, I know that we're at our time and we lost somebody. So uh, feel free if you need to bounce off. Um, but Jenny and I could maybe stay for a couple minutes. I don't know, Jenny, if you're okay with that. If anyone totally. has any additional questions, I think this is really valuable information. So Jenny Butts, thank you for being here today and helping My us out. Any other questions? Jessica? Oh, you're clapping. Your hand's not up. I was going to say that's <laughs> supposed to be a clapping, not a raising right. a hand. 
So don't forget, Jenny Butts and Becky um, will be doing the Visitor Host Open Mic on Thursday night or Thursday afternoon for us, really, uh, mm -hmm. 3.30 or 4.30 our time. Uh, Jenny, even earlier than that for you. So, yeah. and Jenny has dropped her email address in there. So if you have to, if you have a need to reach out to her and Jay, you have your hand raised. Yes. Yeah, so with that open mic, is that going to be kind of a Q&A for our visitor host or is that going to be just more of a education? It's going to be both. It's going to be both. We, um, I want to be sure that we start by letting all the visitor hosts who are on the call and also any members of chapters who are invested in making sure their chapters grow can certainly, you can share that link with anybody in a chapter. We want to take the first part of it to let everybody know what's been developed since September. Uh, because I was just on a focus group that some of BNI connect, uh, BNI core is running with visitor hosts and new members. And I was just on one last week with some visitor hosts and I'm not convinced everybody either did the Zoom training or that they remember what was on the Zoom training. So I'm hoping to capture some more people. Uh, so by all means, bring everybody. And I'd love it if more chapter success coaches were on there so that they can answer questions too. But I want to show them that there are some visitor uh, resources available. We've developed some new tools. We have updates in BNI Connect. I'll, I want to maybe run through this thing to give everybody a second chance now that they've been in the role for six weeks, give them a second chance to ask questions and figure out some more things. And then the second half of the call, we want to be able to hear from people what's working, what obstacles are you running into, what questions do you have, and they can also hear from each other. We did this and it was really effective. We use this in our orientation. We have all new materials this year for people who have been in BNI for a long time, they've never used any of these. And so I want to hear if they're working or not. And I want other people to know that we can mix this up. We use this video. We don't use this video. We say this, we don't say this, uh, because I think you all have realized your members listen to each other far more than they listen to either you or Nellie or even farther away from the members is me. And they're like, who's Jenny Butts? Why would we listen to her? So if they can hear from each other, I think it'll be the most effective. That's our hope. And we have prizes. We're giving prizes. Yeah, I love that too. And the status quo, right? We talked about that a, a week and a half ago in one of the meetings Jenny and I were part of. And really the status quo didn't do all these great things that we're doing now. So make sure your visitor hosts get on and don't just poo-poo it. 